Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome uh, to Dumb SEO Questions, wherever you are. Um, each week yeah, we meet here to uh, talk about, or at least answer the questions asked on the SEO Questions community on Google+. Plus. Also, uh, the uh, Facebook group, uh, Dumb SEO Questions. And you can also ask us a question on our Twitter handle, Dumb SEO QS. With us today, we have David Roseanne. Uh, David, uh, an SEO copywriter of many years standing. David uh, um, is uh, an SEO based, or an internet marketer, I think he prefers to be known as. Um, he uh, is based in the south of England. How cold is it over there, you, you guys? Although, look, it's, it's almost Hot spring, isn't it? What do you summer like it is? Yeah. You know, no, you're, you're, wearing a, you're wearing a thick sweater, wearing T-shirts and shorts, although I'm not going to show you that. And, and it's not really thick. It's not really thick, but um, it, it, it's, it, it is warm. Um, yeah. Uh, David can be found at writingforseo.org. And uh, Masataki Wasa is webmaster of wasaweb.net. Um, he's also a Google Top contributor on, on the AdSense uh, community. Uh, um, Masataki can be found at wasaweb.net. Rob Mars uh, is um, based in the Netherlands. Um, Rob is an AdWords aficionado, uh, an internet marketer. He, um, uh, he uh, can be found at marketbiz with two z's, M-A-R-K-E-T dot, uh, no, M-A-R-K-E-T B-I-double -Z, z dot N-L. And he's a, a Google top contributor on the uh, web search. And, and, <laughs> web, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, webmasters and AdWords. Oh, well, we'll get it right one day. Um, Tim Kappa, a conversion rate optimization specialist and proud to call himself an SEO. He's based uh, in the frozen wastelands of uh, England, about 100 miles north of London. Um, Tim um, um, is also a Google Top contributor um, at um, the Google My Business community. And uh, he can be found at onlineownership.com. William Rock uh, is uh, an SEO based in the USA. Uh, he is uh, uh, also a Google Top contributor on the, the uh, um, web search community. And uh, uh, William is... Uh, <laughs> An SEO based in Kansas. Um, you really think I need artificial stimulants, do you, do you David? <laughs> I was asleep 15 minutes ago. Um, all right, uh, let's get cracking out. Our first uh, question uh, tonight um, is, is, is um, titled uh, Pages with Excessive Links. And um, it's from Darlene J. Hanchett. Uh, Darlene said, uh, Screaming Frog and Semrush are telling me that I have pages with excessive links, over 900 of them. The links are the internal links from our main navigation and sub-navigation that's visible in our sidebar of internal pages. Um, do I just uh, ignore uh, this alert or not? I know the argument of linking only the main pages from navigation and use links to the other pages in the site's content. But the client wants all of the links visible. You can check out what I mean here. And she gives a URL, www.pelicanshops.com slash hot tubs slash hot tubs store.
I see one of our forum heroes, Alan Blowice, uh, um, answered. Um, I think I even answered this um, as well. Um, I, I used uh, SEMrush and um, um, looked at the, the uh, duplicate content, or at least if that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, but um, it seemed to me that instead of being duplicate, these pages, I think that the problem was that, that there were um, there was virtually no content on these pages, and so uh, since they all carried the navigation, uh, um, this was um, a duplicate. Oh, can I pry you guys away from chatting about Woodstock? Um, and um, can we address uh, Darlene Hanson's question? I was taking a look at the website as well. I was, if she's got the whole lot or nine hundred internal links, you know that I wouldn't ignore that. Um, that they're broken. Um, that's the point, right? Is clean that up and making sure that everything that's going to be found by a Google bot is going to be clean and, and correct. Uh, I did notice that this that the uh, URL structure is uh, like hot tub or hot hyphen tub at forward slash hot hyphen tub benefits and other so I'm wondering if the um, I'm just kind of going through the website but it, overall the, the site looks nice it looks like it's presentable the only thing that I keep getting popped up is a little pop-up window so that's a little distraction from the question but um, I'm still kind of going through it but you're right there's not a lot of when you go into the hot tub brands it's um, Just not a lot of content inside those pages as well. Yep, thank you, William. Surely we have another comment from someone else. So, um, yeah, sorry. Um, what what what's the issue? They've got um, they've got too many links on a page. She's getting a, um, a, a warning from Screaming Frog um, that uh, she has duplicate content. Actually, I just I read it wrong. It's excessive links, over 900 of them in the navigation. All right. Okay. All right. With that, yes. I mean, if you start to look at that, there is quite a, a lot in that navigation. Uh, when you start to like break open the uh, hot tub brands, you've got all those, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But then um, you don't really see a lot of what, what is weird when you're clicking on the navigation. I'm finding it keeps going to where it's not really loading the actual page. It goes back to like almost a broken cascading style sheet, and then comes back. Um, that that would be kind of weird. But I haven't gotten a chance to run this through SEM Rush to see what what that's saying. But whenever you see it, excessive links, I think what is it? Uh, Hundred links per page is what they were. Saying is sometimes too uh, at that level of being maybe too much on the links. Well, I don't understand, Jeepers. Why would you have a hundred link? I mean, is she linking to every single product from the navigation? That's what um, it kind of I, looks like. I would, I would, yeah, I would certainly suggest relooking at your structure. Um, you know, um, you, you you don't want you don't want like uh, your navigation to be a hundred a hundred deep. Um, you know, most you wanted it like four or five deep. But creating additional categories or things like that for, for you know for for the product, and then creating it into that. Um, equally, I don't know if you're just linking every single product from the navigation. Rather, put it into a category, have your category go down, and then have. Um, you know, paginated product pages. Um, so, yeah, I think that's your structure. Yeah, 
I would agree with that, especially you know, so basically going back to that whole um, the, even on the patios, you know, being able to have all the different patios broken up into its own section, just like the hot tubs and pools, grills, game room, all those different things. Yeah, but is the 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 problem the message from Semrush, or doesn't he get his pages indexed? Um, equally, I don't know if you're just linking every single problem. Rather, put it into a category and then, uh, um, you know, paginated product. Um, so, yeah, I think that's your structure. I would agree with that, especially you know, so basically going back to that whole, um, being able to have all the different values broken up into That was kind of strange. I thought I heard myself talking in the loop. Yeah, there, there was, a, 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 I think, a, a Google glitch. Um, the, um, um, I, I think it's cured. All right, let's let's call this a, a wrap for uh, Darlene J. Hanchett. I hope uh, she finds that useful. Now I remember that, uh, ignore what I said at the start of this question, Darlene, uh, uh, I was thinking of the other post that you made, uh, the duplicate content one. Anyway, let's, um, if there are no objections, I'll move on to the next. Okay. All right, this one is from Nikita Sushko um, on why Google is not indexing my website. Um, Nikita goes on to say, I have made a blog website. Uh, it's uh, howpickup.com and submitted to Google Webmaster Tools uh, two months ago, but still it is not indexed. Um, and he gives uh, an example of the ro the robot's text, um, which looks looks fine. Um, disallow nothing is uh, okay. Uh, host our pickup that comma. I don't know why that's there. Um, and uh, he gives a, a linking to his sitemap. So that that all looks uh, apart from that host uh, line. I don't think that looks too bad. Um, he said. He's added an SSL certificate um, as it goes better. Well, actually, it doesn't. An SSL certificate actually makes your server just slightly slower um, because it has more things to uh, uh, process. All right. Um, he's made a, a Facebook website page uh, on Facebook uh, slash How Pickup because I read it, it makes indexing faster. Um, there are three websites that I ask my friends to poke my, post my link on the front page for indexing. Um, uh, after all, in Google Webmaster Console, I fetched my URL manually a month ago. Google Analytics is installed, but no results. So does anybody know what the problem can be? I think the problem is that is that it's soft porn, and um, I don't know if anybody else agrees agrees with me, but um, yeah, it might be a while because um, porn is um, possibly the most competitive of industries. Um, I, I, I I've never got into it. Um, um, I don't know anybody that has, but. Um, if you can survive in the in the porn industry or the gambling industry, um, or the um, online pharmacy industry, um, you're, you're made of pretty tough stuff. Um, anyway, 
Um, lost 50 percent of our viewers uh, with my statement you guys better start talking otherwise um, we might lose the other 50 percent okay what was the question sorry mate the uh... <laughs> yeah. um, <coughs> said does anybody know what the problem can be with to what well the, the question the, is is the question that he's um, uh, he's got a, a site that's not been indexed, or is it that he's got a site that isn't showing anywhere? Uh, if it's the second, then um, it's because it's only got video content, as it seems, and just about nothing uh, in terms of textual content. So um, there's, as well as the um, the, 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 the the nature of content, um, can you show me the way to get in your pants? Is one of them. Uh, it's. Uh, so, yeah. so you're asking me, David? Um, no, no, I know how to get into your pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been told anyway. <laughs> well, I, thank you very much. <laughs> Have we so, lost the other um, viewer now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so what, what? What is it? Is it? Is it that it's not being indexed, or is it that it's uh, that it's not um, uh, not being liked by Google? Having well, that's um, that's, 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 that's of course the, the fourth category. Yeah, the fourth category. Yeah, of, yeah, the, the, of, of uh, you know, in order of toughness, I suppose it's probably number three or four. But um, um, uh, as we know from um, uh, dumb SEO questions, it, it's it's a tough gig uh, promoting video content. Um, but mm. yeah, I, I'd say that um, Google doesn't see uh, this site um, as having value. Uh, and perhaps uh, if he, he was to add um, and more, some text to, to describe uh, um, each something something that Googlebot could munch on, um, he, he might uh, have a show there. Also, the the the, 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 the type of post uh, it, it's pretty limited in its market, isn't it? Well, uh, it, it could be argued the other way, couldn't it? Well, look, put it this way. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure that I, I'd, I'd be looking for a site on how to pick up girls. Really, I'm not. So, it, it, <laughs> um, and, and I mean, you'd have to um, have to say that um, if, if you need a, a, a video link, uh, like uh, to, to, to tell you how to pick up girls, you're probably sub 16. Um, you don't have a credit card. Where's the value of, of, of this? Why would advertisers want to advertise on this site? Um, because the demographic um, w wouldn't be seen as valuable. Hmm. There, there are. There, I, I've just been uh, casting around on the site here, and um, there are some pages with quite a lot of words on. <laughs> All well, right. Just the, um, <clears throat> there, there's one here that you that you may not uh, uh, may may not want, or maybe you will want. Um, one called "Getting Prepared for Sex," which has many words on. Oh dear. Well, I, I, will we move on to, to the next? Well, it sure. depends whether we're, yes. 
Question number three. Okay. All right, uh, this one from Akesh Bisht on which URL is best to use and why is the title. He goes on to ask uh, that the website is multi-regional and multilingual, and he gives uh, two links. In, uh, oh, sorry, I've looked at this site. Um, and th this is the landing page, and, and in this URL, LP stands for landing page. The client wants to rank this landing page. Good luck. Um, and now I have a question uh, that uh, is it the, the wrong URL? Um, when I check site for colon website, then there are very few pages indexed with this URL. Um, about 600 uh, for the entire site, I think. Um, please uh, offer me suggestions on this issue. Which URL is best to use and why? Any help would be highly appreciated. So it looks, it looks like uh, the links are, one is the actual main website, uh, .in, and then the other one is the IP dot and domain forward slash brand forward slash en. Yeah, it's an LP, landing page. Okay. Go ahead, William. Well, for one, it's it, there's no content visible on the, well, there's on the uh, main website. And the, almost looks like duplicate content. So one probably should be no index. Uh, the other one is just a landing page, possibly for your paid advertising. Uh, but having both of those in there may confuse the crawler. You know, what do you guys think? I think Googlebot would say it's a low value page, and um, um, given that um, mo most of the sites index the duplicates of the same page. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it would be pretty low value. It does seem rather strange to have two separate pages um, for essentially the same thing. You know, you, you're selling a certain service and I'm not so sure how much differentiation you can make between those two pages. And in a sense, the question is, why did you create the two pages in the first place? You know, if it's for paid advertising, it's for tracking or you know, a particular campaign, then it might make sense. But even then, it, it does seem odd to, if you like, split um, the attention in, to two pages. It does seem rather odd. Yeah. And there's only slight differentiations. There's uh, on one page, they have the, a video, and then they also have a little bit of graphics in addition to the same content. So. I think it's uh, Googlebot's going to figure out which ones they're going to pick, and it looks like probably the home page would be my guess. OK. Um, Mr. Taki, could you give uh, Rob Mars uh, the URL um, for the questions? Um, I, I'm, I'm not able to get a link right now. All right, let's um, move on to the next. Um, okay, this one from Patty Mantelins, um to index or no index. He refers to uh, a few uh, different types of pages, privacy, terms and conditions. Um, delivery um, advice or delivery information, refund policies, etc. Um, all uniquely written. Um, to index or no index, uh, he said, I usually no index. Uh, your thoughts? I see Edward Yonk uh, posted uh, on the, the Facebook community. I miss Edward.
Yeah, I mean, privacy terms, delivery of refunds, I think it would make sense to index those because people might, you know, might have purchased something and then might want to look up the refund page. You know, they didn't like what it, they got. Uh, they want to see what the refund policies are. And, you know, instead of going through the site, they might type in the brand name and then saying refunds in the search engine. And if they can find it, then that's a not good user experience. So I think when there are reasons for people to search for those pages, and I think there are for refunds, um, deliveries, um, terms and conditions, I think it would make sense to have those indexed. Thank you pages, those kind of things. I agree with Edwin, it doesn't make sense to have them um, in search, so no index those. But um, the things that, that have been mentioned, privacy terms, delivery, refunds, I personally would index those. Yeah, I would as well. And I think, uh, was it uh, Google's come out and said they can actually crawl that anyways. They know the difference between the, pay, the search query. So Mosataki, when you mentioned you know, somebody typing in a query of the name and a refund, that's what they're looking for. So Google will then tie that together and put that result in front of them. Otherwise, they're going to have the other pages show up, not the refund page. So Google's gotten a lot smarter on how to deliver those results. Okay, um, let's um, move on to the next. Okay, another one from Patty Mantelins. Um, it's titled, the URL and title is formed from a search query. Um, he said, what is this type of page called? Uh, the URL and title is formed from a search query, but has nothing to do with the page. Uh, and he gives it gives a, a site uh, thinkgoats.com slash where to buy goat meat in Montreal hyphens between all the words. Um, you can see the URL on the uh, uh, Facebook community on Goat uh, on the Facebook community. It, it's dumb as he had questions. All right, uh, he said I could change that path to almost anything, and the uh, same page loads. It's a weird um, site because essentially it's a framed. Um, there's a, I think there is some sort of affiliate site that is being framed. So regardless of whatever you put, I think after slash domain name, I think this page is going to appear. I may be wrong, but you know, I just clicked on the given URI and been looking at the source and essentially there's a title and then frame set. And I think the, um, the entity that's been framed is some sort of affiliate link. Yeah, this is the sort of thing that um, um, once um, a, a spam report is made, an engineer will um, hit that site with a ban hammer and it won't appear for anything. Uh, um, and of course, the, the sites of, of uh, the children of, of that um, uh, author uh, won't appear, and, and probably not the, the sites of their children's children. Um, yeah, and I don't know why. I mean, it's so easy to write good content. Uh, I don't know why people have to write rubbish. 
I suppose the theory was that um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's using the... Well, the uh, say, go ahead, David. Sorry, I... I <laughs> what, what with this delay and strange, this, uh, it's, it's just... Uh, I'm stamping all over what you're saying, and I'm not trying to do so. I, I was just trying to uh, argue that it's very, very difficult to write decent content, uh, which is oh, okay. uh, one of the reasons why people have so much crap on their sites. <laughs> and if you have any copywriting needs, David is available for hire. <laughs> Mm. No, so yeah, it's it's something that uh, we th there's there's a there's a lot of ways of buying content uh, by the word without any um, any um, allowance for for quality or understanding of the subject or understanding of SEO, um, and people go out and buy it by the yard, which is another way that you get crap from websites um, you know it's not cheap there's this idea that that, that uh, putting up a website is cheap marketing it isn't um, it may not have a bloody great print bill attached to it but um, you need if you're going to compete you need to have something that's professional <coughs> excuse me professional um, anyway, before I get on my soapbox and end up sounding like a certain South African person around here, uh, I'm going to stop. All right. Um, All right. Anybody else? Okay. Let's tweet. I think I already have tweeted that. No, apparently I haven't. All right, so this one from Gaz Underhill um, and a Google warning about guest posting. He asks, uh, is there any weight in this article about Google warning about guest posting? Uh, yeah, of course. What do you mean if there's any weight? Google wrote it. It's on their blog. Um, so essentially, um, Google probably uh, well, it's in their it's in their guidelines, uh, in their you know um, links, uh, link building, um, and essentially people probably stopped doing it for a while. Um, you know, after a couple of uh, PBNs were taken down, at, you know, three or four years back, maybe even five years back. Uh, people obviously, you know, learned a lesson and desisted. But now, over time, people kind of forget the lessons. Um, so Google's putting out um, uh, a, a little reminder. But um, when when they put out a little reminder like this, <laughs> um, you can be you can you can uh, expect a slap to be coming along in a couple of months' time. You know, they've warned you. And they've warned you again uh, and if you keep um, looking at pretty crappy guest posts just for links you can um, expect a slap coming good point yeah and, and does this also think you know they they also have sent out a message a reminder about the PBNs Remember that, one? that was a couple months ago wasn't it so All right, anybody else? Okay, um, let's um, tweet that and move on. Oh, did it already? Almost uh, at the end, um, uh, question number seven on your run list. Another question from Patty Mantaloons. Um, why are the old 404 pages continually showing up? Patty said that in Google Search Console, uh, uh, does marking a 404 page as fixed uh, say, okay, then the page is fixed now, you can come back to it? Um, or if it's a real 404 of an old page, 
uh, can I mark as fixed once I submit for re removal? The former would explain why the old 404 pages continually show up as newly discovered uh, 404s uh, after um, repeated removal requests. Well, a, a 404, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a 404. Now, essentially, if that page was broken because, I don't know, you un unintentionally removed it or you removed the product and then the products come back and you put the product on again and it's live again, um, in that sense, if that page is fixed, you don't, you know, then you can mark it as fixed, the 404. Uh, it won't come back because you've corrected the issue. But if that's a 404, that is is that it's gone. It's gone. It's never coming back, right? So you've got two two situations. Is there's nothing wrong with having that listed as a 404 in a, in, in 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 the search console. You can have a million. You can have ten million of them. Um, so there's nothing wrong. If you really want to go down the road of just telling Googlebot it's never, ever, ever coming back, you can 410 it. And that is like the, it's dead, mate. It's never coming back. The other reason is if you if you remove a 404, um, for example, and uh, it, you know, it appears again back in the search console, well, that's because Googlebot uh, is probably finding a page or a link or something somewhere out there it could be anywhere right um, to that page they followed it and they found ah 404 and therefore boom it goes back into your search console so look there's nothing wrong with um, having 404s in your in your page if it makes sense now don't go willy-nilly just like 301 redirecting them to another thing because you know, if it doesn't make sense to where you've 301 redirected it, Googlebot will just mark them as soft 404s because it, it'll look at it and go, nah, mate, that's a dick move, soft 404. So, you know, at the end of the day, is if it's a 404, it's got no equity, it's a crap page, it's just, you know, blah, blah, blah. You're never, you're never going to use it again. Just ignore it. Fine, it's a 404. Happy days. If you really want to get technical, Market as a 410. But apart from that, don't worry about it. The 404 is a 404, you know. You can have millions. Okay, anybody else? No? Okay, let's um, move on to the next. Question eight on your own list from Chase Rayner. What is the point of crawl delay in robots text? There's none, nothing. Google Google doesn't doesn't honor it. Never has done. I don't know if they have before. I know they don't now. So there's no point. Absolutely zero point whatsoever. Uh, I don't even know why developers still keep adding this crap in. And um, but anyway, <laughs> um, there's there's none whatsoever. Googlebot is sophisticated enough to crawl your site as and when, and they will only crawl your site as of what they feel that your site or server can handle. Um, if your server is so flaky on a shared thing, it's built to crap and back, and literally they start crawling one page and your site starts going down, they will literally only come back every couple of months and crawl like half a page. Um, if you are, you know, you've got the dog's bollocks server, you've got you know, freaking processing centers like you cannot believe. You know, Googlebot may do 50,000 pages a day. It, they will only crawl your site as much as they feel that your site can handle. Um, so, and they don't follow your crawl delays or anything like that. Um, it's only what they feel your site can handle. So, yeah, um, there's no point to them. Absolutely no point to them. Um, yeah, the simple as. I think you give Google too much credit. I, I, I mean, I, well, I'll put this well, right. 
if you look in your search console, if you look in your search console, you can see your your crawl. Uh, but of course, then if you really want to get into it, then go into obviously your you know your files um, uh, and and your server, and then you can really see. But essentially, Google will not crawl a site till it crashes. I think that's agreed upon. Because then they'll be committing a DDoS, won't they? If they crawl the fuck out of a site and DDoS it, yeah, so they have to have their own crawl delay on it. Well, I, 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 I had um, a situation, um, and this would be back you know, five or six years ago now, but um, this was when uh, they revamped the uh, Google Images. And do you remember when the, the, they brought in that new uh, Google Images about five years ago? Um, but what, um, and I had, um, you know, I asked um, uh, in, in a lot of places around Google and, and nobody could really help me. Um, and in the end, I uh, just um, blocked um, um, Googlebot, and that didn't really stop them all that much, but it certainly mitigated it at the point where we we uh, didn't have it. But and this wasn't a shared host; this was a dedicated server for a particular site. It was actually our image server, um, and um, we, we would have fifteen or twenty different Googlebots, um, and, and I suppose each individual uh, um, Googlebot um, was uh, backing off. But because there were 15 or 20 uh, um, simultaneously requesting and, um, you know, um, this, and they were all images, um, it, it, and, and it was a case where there were like uh, hundreds of merchants with, uh, and each with thousands of products. It, it, it was just such a, a, a big store of images. Um, but it actually literally did um, yeah, put, put the server under a heap of load and um, I had to take yeah, all the other sites off it for a while um, because um, it just couldn't, it couldn't um, do its job properly. But uh, yes, so I mean Google, uh, uh, I was going to say Google means well, but I'm, I'm not sure that they do. <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, yeah, they. Uh, they um, you, you, you are, I totally agree with you that, that, that they do uh, um, wind back um, if, if, if a s s server is struggling. That that can happen also uh, if somebody uh, has, um, um, say, GoDaddy hosting or whatever. Um, I know I get uh, pilloried for saying that, but like a, a, a cheap hosting um, where um, uh, Google just automat automatically backs off if, if the server is struggling. And, and so if you put up a site on a server that's overloaded, you, you're just guaranteed to get um, less and less uh, crawling. So it's sort of shooting in the foot. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling. Too old. Todd. And they actually, I'm reading in one of the help documents from Google about, I mean, I don't know if you guys talked about this, but being able to change the uh, crawl rate too in your Google search console. If it is overloading your server and crashing it, you can change those settings within the search console from what I understand. I've never had to do it, but it's it's there. I added, I added that to the uh, show notes too as well. Oh, thank you, uh, William. I'll have to have a look at that. All right, uh, let's um, move on to the next. This one from Darlene J. Hatchett. And uh, this is where we came in uh, on the, the first question tonight. Uh, I, I mis misunderstood this side. Anyway, Darlene uh, said, that on my client's site, we have two areas that show their locations. She gives a, a URL which can be seen on... Uh, the Facebook group, but dumb SEO questions. And she gives the URL www.pelicanshops.com. One at the top of the page and an area at the bottom of the page. 
Um, we are getting excessive duplicate content issues, 811 pages worth. These locations need to be on every page, but can you give me a suggestion as to where this code should be or another technique to minimise duplicate content? The top locations are in the tag. Um, should the, the bottoms uh, be in the tag? Uh, any uh, constructive criticism is appreciated. Well, without um, without looking at this particular site, the usual thing is that um, I'm, I'm just filling in the uh, the dead air at the moment um, while the rest of you look and get the right answers. Um, the usual thing is is not to worry too much about the um, the standing content, if you like the the stuff that's on every. Sure enough, that is duplicate. But if you have enough. Um, enough unique content on each page to it out. So the usual answer is to have that, that stuff on every page, the top and the bottom, or uh, your, um, your standard terms and conditions down the right-hand side, or whatever you've got. You need to actually put some, some good content in quantity um, elsewhere on each page, and that will that should balance out your, your duplicate problems. Yeah. Anybody else? No? Okay. Well, look, yeah, I, I use SEMrush um, to look at this site uh, in detail. And um, um, while, while uh, the, the pages uh, were uh, um, picked up as duplicate, it's easy with SEMrush's report to see that uh, it, it wasn't actually um, um, and that the pages um, were, were exactly duplicate. It was just that they had so um, such a small amount of text on each page that their navigation was um, the actual duplicate content. Um, that, I mean, they had an issue too with it, with their um, because uh, Pelican Shops uh, is a, a franchise in the states. Um, there are about four or five uh, dealers and uh, all, all trading under the same banner, um, but not necessarily carrying the same products. And so um, when they do their advertising on the site, they do their advertising using uh, an image, um, uh, images uh, on an advertising page, but no accompanying text. Um, so, yeah, they vary only by the images on the page. And, of course, Googlebot can't read that. Um, and uh, it just um, it judges those pages to be low value. All right. Um, if there's no objection, I'll move on to the next. Or actually, I think this might be the last. Anyway, let's see. I'll just tweet that. Oh, it is, it is that time again. Well, look, thank you for watching. Um, your interest in what we do uh, makes uh, what we do worthwhile. Um, don't forget, uh, you can ask a question on uh, the SEO Questions community on Google+, Plus, on the Facebook group, Dumb SEO Questions, and also on Twitter, Dumb SEO QS. You're still uh, monitoring that for us, uh, Mesutaki, aren't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly sure. All right, um, we'll be back at the same time next week uh, to do this all again. Um, but for now, it's good night. And again, we thank you very much.